The sounds of Dandelion Greens, the starting track on Strother Field's latest self-titled EP, reverberates through the walls of Dexter's Garage. Conceived in 2019, Clay Cudahy, Max Rabbit Tomita, and Dexter Cleveranga look to bring their own sound to the Bay Area alt-rock scene. Uh, Clay and I were in Miss Sutherland's history class, and then she asked us to play uh, Two Truths and a Lie, and we both said we played drums. So just off that, we kind of wanted to start a band together. So Clay got the guitar out, and yeah. A lot of dedication and planning has gone into Strother Field's EP since the project's inception. Well, we spent like maybe six months just like over time learning the songs and like getting, writing all our parts and like practicing them. The road to creating their first EP has been rough with many ups and downs. I would say the most challenging part we've experienced is definitely recording music. That's why we recorded our EP at a studio in Oakland, Tiny Telephone, because we tried recording music, like doing in-home recordings in the past, and invested a lot of time in it, and it just was not fun. Nowhere sounded good, so um, I would say recording is definitely the, the hardest part, because, you know, the fun and the easy part is just, you know, playing songs together. I say we're pretty much on the same page in general. There's some things that we always have to end up changing. Uh, for example, like the drums were pretty rough on one of the songs for about a year. Um, but I had to, I switched up the parts and it sounded okay in the end. And then like we uh, edit or cut down on other parts uh, just to sort of make it fit together more as a whole. And that's sort of like a, a group decision in that sort of sense. Um, I'd say the most fun part and the most rewarding part about being able to work together is just is probably just playing like I think we all get our own sense of joy out of playing the songs. Described loosely as alternative rock, Clay shows what their music represents. It's just like alternative rock. We're inspired by like a uh, Dinosaur Jr., Pavement, Pixies, My Bloody Valentine. So like 80s and 90s alternative music. Um, in terms of like writing lyrics and stuff, I'm never really trying to like send a direct message or anything. I kind of just base it off what I think sounds good. I still want the songs to like be emotive. I just kind of am not like directly like, oh, this song is about being depressed or this song is about being really happy or something. The bond forged from this band has proven to be one like no other. I would say like we started off not with the intent of you know making music to release it just you know we want all enjoy playing music and we wanted to play it together and we kind of just made these songs and eventually it's progressed to the point where now we're releasing music but i wouldn't say it was ever for like a targeted audience it was just for our own enjoyment to play in this band go listen to our ep it's called strother field by strother field <laughs> And, uh, I don't know. It's really good. It's really good. For In Focus, I'm Vincent Wong, co-reporting with Eddie Miao and Ethan Hamer.